Hey, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about this paint booth that I just did some automation on for us. I might just entitle this series something like Automation in the Shop or something like that. You can see I've got one of the filter squares pulled out. You'll see why in a minute here. But first, let's go check out this control panel here. So, we had our electricians come and they ran us some power. Uh, this here is an airline. And so we've got uh, 480 coming in on one, 120 coming in on one, that's for our lighting. Um, and then we've got 120 going out to our lighting and 480 going out to our uh, fan motor. And so very important to label your panels correctly. Additionally, this conduit right here goes up to our um, pilot controls. So inside we've got a contactor and this is for our lighting, uh, which is just simply controlled by a uh, light switch up front. We have a one of my favorite brand drives here is Yaskawa and this is a Yaskawa A1000 which is just a general purpose drive. So as you can see currently our potentiometer has us sitting at about an output of about 30 Hertz which is about half uh, speed here for us 50% in the US since we run at 60 Hertz. Here's my control wiring coming in. Just a simple little panel. It's neat, gets the job, gets the job done here for the shop. So you can see we've also got an exhaust fan, very important. Uh, the relay will come in when the drive is in run mode. And that will turn our uh, fan on and also turn our run light on on the front panel uh, where we have our controls set up. And then we just have a little control transformer here, which is just for the uh, relay and the fan. And I totally could have taken that 120 power from the uh, lighting circuit. But if for some reason the lighting circuit trips and the VFD is still running on 480, then we're not going to have a fan and that's going to overheat. So I elected to have our own little 120 source just for the fan and the control light. So in setting up this uh, system, there's a couple of things I had to hit in the programming on this VFD to make sure that everything was going to run smoothly. Uh, one of the first points would definitely be that I don't want the fan motor to spin too slow. The motor is VFD rated. However, uh, when you spin a motor slower than it should be spun, uh, you risk overheating the motor because there's a little impeller inside that motor that blows air over the windings. And if it spins too slow, then you're not going to be moving any air over that motor and it's going to get quite warm. So that's why we have a minimum speed set to 50%, which I think is more than enough to keep it running happy. Um, also, our motor is slightly oversized, so that also helps keep it a little bit cooler as well. And then we have the potentiometer here, which of course is going to allow us to control our speed, and the drive is doing all the calculations on making that not 0 to 100, but actually from 50% to 100. So this will allow us to go everything in between. Uh, fan on and off switch, simple enough. And then we have an emergency stop switch here, just in case for some, hopefully never, just in case for some reason, one of these filters decides to go rogue and get sucked up into that giant fan, we won't be able to stop it as quick as possible and not let it do the normal uh, 10 second ramp down that it's programmed to do. And one more thing I wanted to make sure and program for was actually to apply DC braking before the, the fan begins to spin. And the reason I want to do that is just in case that big fan blade starts to free spool because of uh, air differential in the building, 
we want to stop it before we start spinning it the other direction. So I've actually started some of the fans in the building right now. See if I couldn't make it do that, but it's not, and that's probably a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the fan on, and you might be able to see the um, fan move just a little bit, and that would be the DC braking grabbing the shaft, just making sure it's not spinning. And then it will start to spin, and then I'll slow it down, and you'll see it DC brake at the end once again. I'm actually going to do one more run up of the fan, this time all the way to 100%, just so you can see what a 7.5 horsepower fan can really do. And that pretty much concludes this video on a little workshop automation. As you can see, the green light and the fan inside the enclosure won't go off until the drive is out of run mode. And of course the drive fans will continue to run for just a couple seconds. But yeah, this is our paint booth here where we paint uh, some pretty large transformers. I believe this guy is a uh, 2000 KVA, 2MVA, if, uh, if that's what you want to call it. And so yeah, be looking out for more videos.